I'm going to tell you about them, my story, but I think you need to know this to understand where I come from. I was in PhD limbo for three years, which means that one tenured professor thought I was not fit for the program, and then the other untenured professor decided not to touch me. I was toxic to their career. But out of the bunch, there was some very kind souls where she advised me well, and I emerged after those three years as a full-time student and got my PhD eventually. I call it the PhD in grit from the computer science department. But among the people who helped me was a docker at the port of Montreal. And his name was Christian de Courcy. And he told me this, we uneducated people have or uneducated lives so that you educated people can have your nice educated life. What we ask in exchange is that you live your lives according to moral standards that we can then try to emulate in our own lives. And he urged me to finish my PhD on the ground that there has to be honest people at all levels. My first research job after graduating was in Scotland, two years and a half, and then nine years in a small national lab in Washington State, USA, and then six years in a software company in Silicon Valley. And that was 2012, and we lost a major client. I was laid off. And that led me to actually go outside. So I saw met a lot of people who had been, too many people in my opinion, who were smart, determined, and was at a job. Could have worked and they were given a second chance, like I had been given a second chance when I was doing my PhD. So that led to the idea that what if we could create a thousand jobs of people, giving them a second chance to actually shine How would that transform the city of San Francisco, which is pretty much a heartless city, I'm sorry to say this. And so the idea of grassroots job creation started there. And I started a small company called Rudo that I hope would help bootstrap the bigger initiative. So you have it here. Why? grassroots job creation can help. It's not a government handout. You have to work, you have to do your due diligence, you have to show up, you have to do the grind. And if you fail, you fail. There is no safety net. Hello, somebody's walking here, somebody's talking here. Hi, sir. Find yourself. I like your hat. Sorry? I'm talking to myself. I don't mind. I absolutely don't mind. I absolutely don't mind. Actually, I was finished. 